everybody. It's Pastor Creed coming to you again with this week's Sunday School Overview. Uh, this week we're going to be in Lesson 2, A Sign and a Promise, God's Covenant with Abraham. And this comes from Genesis 15 and Genesis 17. So let us begin in God's Word. From Genesis 15, 1 through 6, and Genesis 17, 1 through 21. After these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram in a vision. Fear not, Abram, I am your shield. Your reward shall be very great. But Abram said, O Lord God, what will you give me? For I continue childless, and the heir of my house is Eleazar of Damascus. And Abram said, Behold, you have given me no offspring, and a member of my household will be my heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came to him, This man shall not be your heir. Your very own son shall be your heir. And he brought him outside and said, Look toward the heavens and number the stars if you are able to number them. Then he said to him, So shall your offspring be. And he believed the Lord, and he counted it to him as righteousness. And then from Genesis 17. When Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless, that I may make my covenant between me and you, and may multiply, your, may multiply you greatly. And Abram fell on his face, and God said to him, Behold, my covenant is with you, and you shall be the father of a multitude of nations. No longer shall your name be called Abram, but your name shall be called Abraham, for I have made you the father of a multitude of nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful, and I will make you into nations, and kings shall come from you. And I will establish my covenant between me and you and your offspring after you throughout the generations of an everlasting covenant to be God to you and to your offspring after you. And I will give you and to your offspring after you the land of your sojourning, all the land of Canaan for an everlasting possession. And I will be their God. And God said to Abraham, as for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your offspring after you throughout their generations. This is my covenant which I, you shall keep between me and you and the offspring after you. Every male according to you shall be circumcised. You shall be circumcised in the flesh of your foreskins. And it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and you. He who is eight days old among you shall be circumcised. Every male throughout your generations, whether born in your house or brought with you, bought with your money from a foreigner who is not of your offspring, both he who is born in your house and he who is brought, bought with your money shall surely be circumcised. You shall my, uh, you, so shall my covenant be in your flesh, an everlasting covenant. Any circumcised, uncircumcised male who is not circumcised in the flesh of his foreskin shall be cut off from his people. He has broken my covenant. And God said to Abraham, As for Sarai, your wife, you shall not call her name Sarai, for, Sarai shall be, for Sarah shall be her name. I will bless her and remove, and moreover, I will give you a son by her. I will bless her, and she shall become nations. Kings of people shall come from her. Then Abraham fell on his face and laughed and said to himself, Shall a child be born to a man who is a hundred years old? So shall Sarah, who is ninety years old, bear a child? And Abraham said to God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before you. God said, No, but Sarah, your wife, shall bear you a son, and you shall call his name Isaac. I will establish my covenant with him as an everlasting covenant of, for his offspring after him. As for Ishmael, I have heard you. Behold, I have blessed him and will make him fruitful and multiply him greatly. He shall father twelve princes, and I will make him into a great nation. But I will establish my covenant with Isaac, whom Sarah shall bear, uh, bear to you at this time next year. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So as we look at this uh, this lesson, a sign and a promise, uh, we look to God's covenant with Abram. And the law gospel aspect of this is that, that we don't trust, uh, that we doubt God's care for us, and we fail to trust him and his promises fully. But the gospel is that God chooses me, he chooses you by your baptism, and he promises to be with you forever. And And that covenant with Abraham and, and the promise with us as well is dependent solely on God and how he has, uh, he, how he upholds that. He sustains us in the faith um, and upholds his promises. And that's the Bible truth that God's promises, promises us a future with him, uh, just as he promised Abraham. 
Now, as far as a Bible verse goes that you can uh, share with your kids, uh, look at 2 Corinthians uh, chapter 1, verse 20. For all the promises of God find their yes in Jesus. Now, um, when we look here to our uh, to the to the Catechism connection, we can look here in the third petition of the Lord's Prayer: um, "Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven." What does this mean? The good and gracious will of God is done even without our prayer, but we pray in this petition that it may be done among us also. How is God's will done? God's will is done when he breaks and hinders every evil plan and purpose of the devil, the world, and our sinful nature, which do not want us to hallow God's name or let his kingdom come, and when he strengthens and keeps us firm in, the, in his word and faith until we die. This is his good and gracious will. And so we, we can look and we understand that, uh, that God's will is done, that it is, it is reliant upon him, um, and he fulfills what he's, and does what he says he will do. And he says that faith comes from hearing his word, and his word, uh, when we hear it, is performative. It does what it says, and it builds faith. And the same with the, the sacraments of, of the Lord's Supper and, and Holy Baptism. They have come to us, and those promises are attached to it, and we have all the faith in them, because we have faith in God and his promise in Christ. Now, when we kind of look at this this lesson, you know, God creates, uh, and God reassures Abram of his promise to, to bless the earth through Abram's offspring, and God changes, then changes his name from Abram, which was a mean, which meant exalted father, to Abraham, which means father of many nations. And he institutes circumcision as that sign of of a continued covenant with Abraham. Uh, today, that 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 covenant sign, that promise, uh, we see in that the way of coming into God's family, we see is is now attached to baptism. Um, despite Abraham and Sarah's uh, advanced age, though, uh, God's promises, the promises that they will still have a son on their own. And and that promise is fulfilled ultimately uh, when Isaac is born. Now, as far as our identity and our calling goes, you know, God has made you part of his covenant family through your baptism. And so you can trust God to carry out his plan as you serve him through your the many vocations that, that in various vocations that you find yourself in, whether you're whether the kids are a student, uh, you know, a brother or sister, uh, um, a, a child. Uh, to their parents, um, and no matter what it is, wherever they find themselves, um, they can trust God in their plan and, and serve Him. Now, um, when we look to the, the the young kids, the early childhood, what they need to know from this, you know, that God's promises us a future, and they know that God uh, is their loving Father, and He keeps all of His promises. That they can they can count on God to keep His promises. The older kids understand that God promises them a future through Jesus and that they can uh, share God's promise of a future for them and, and for other believers and be able to express uh, uh, the great links that God has gone through to ensure that his promises do come to pass. And so I hope this little rundown for you helps you as you study and you meditate and, uh, upon God's word for this, this Sunday. Um, Thank you for all that you do for the, the children here at Bethlehem, and we look forward to seeing, seeing you on Sunday and worshiping with you. Have a blessed day. Mm -hmm.